Hello, 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 simps and girls. Microsoft Sam here for more Microsoft Sam Plays Minecraft Sector. In the last episode, Manchero Microsoft Sam and I went to the Nether in Copter Way, so that we would find some quartz and other things. Here, yeah. although we found a fortress along the way, there was nothing really exciting that we were going to do. But I know the reason. We had the peaceful difficulty on. Normally I would come down on the fourth wall being broken, but no fucking wonder there was nothing really fucking exciting that time. But we digress. I'm going to get a few farm foods and then start a farm. A wheat carrot potato beetroot farm. I crafted a stone hoe that would assist me on that. That's one startup step that you gotta have, as well as having a fuck ton of bone meal with you. You can never have enough of that shit to grow some crops and whatnot. And now, I'm gonna go to one of the nearby villages to gather up some of the crops that I can use to grow even more of those crops. That way, the farm can as well be pristine, as it can be. And here we are. The village that grows some fucking crops. Like this wheat for example. I'm gonna gather it and then replant the seeds. And ta-da! I got some of the seeds that I need for the wheat. Now for the potatoes, carrots, and beetroot that I need for the farm of mine. Ah, uh, yes. Carrots. Some fresh carrots. Nothing like those to start a farm and so forth. As well as the potatoes, which are more of my favorite. I also got the beetroot. I remember the days when the Raffle World and Sam Raffle Range didn't have beetroot until now. Nowadays, it's kind of rare compared to all the other farmable materials. I also remember that wheat was the only farmable material that you could gather up for bread. Good times, yes. You know what? I'm starting to get skeptical of there being no noticeable potatoes in this farm. Perhaps I should stop and explore a bit more of this village, and see what I can trade for emeralds. Oh shit, are you guys trapped in this water well? Here, I'll get you out of here at once and let you wander off in the village until dark. That would very much be appreciated. We kinda stumbled upon this water well ourselves when we were trying to find jobs, and then we were trapped, desperate for somebody to help us. Fear no more. The goddamn Microsoft Sam is here to help you now. Now, as all walls are broken, you are free now to get out of the water and go back home. Thank you. Now for a little while, we're trying to scoot for us to get out. Oh, fuck. I didn't mean to ring the bell. That was for you to scoot along and try to find your houses, but also, I hope you don't mind me farming at your farm for some materials, so that I could start one of my own back at home. Oh, we don't mind. We can always regrow some crops of our own anyway. That is, if one of us gets a job as a farmer, though. Fair enough. But anyways I'll go trade for a little, while and then go to the neighboring village that's near you all. Nom 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 nom. Damn it, I don't have leather or emeralds. I may as well decline and go to the next villager, one who has stuff I can't afford at the moment. Hey you. You got some emeralds. Okay, I have some coal which I can exchange for that. Thank you a lot. Nom 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 nom. Sadly I don't have enough coal at this point for more emeralds, so I may as well just get out of here and go hunting for some more farming materials. But first I'm going in the blacksmith and taking what's in this chest. Gold, iron gear, bread and a saddle. Nice steel. Now I can go to the other village and see if it has any potatoes I can farm. Alright, now I'm at that other village. 
Here's hoping that there are potatoes that I can harvest with the bone meal I have in order to start to farm back at home. First things first, I just need to take the bone meal out and then sprout the crops that I need to harvest. That way, I can gather the materials for said crops faster than you could ever think of an idea for building a fucking barn. Like, could you really ever come up with an idea fast enough to build a barn, as the goddamn Microsoft Sam does the work with the husbandry around here? I know I'm not a farm person, but in the Rafa world, good care is required to keep the family secure against poverty and all that shit. But this isn't the Rafa world, you might say. True, but yes, either way, food is a must. Food is required, and food is essential. Let this be a simple agriculture lesson for those who want to be farmers in the future. Especially for those who play games like Stardew Valley or whatever farming simulators there are. At the end of the day, it's all up to the family to maintain the shit at any cost. But anyways, hey, 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 Finally I got some fucking potatoes. Yummy 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 potatoes. Pixel art could use some potatoes along with the chicken he eats. Oh wait, he eats some potatoes with chicken sometimes, he told me that shit before. You know what, I'm getting basic and I'm just rambling on in, 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 so I'm just gonna shut the fuck up, until I'm done farming. Ah uh, yes, 11 potatoes. That is a good enough amount to actually start my own farm with those. Along with the wheat, beetroot, and carrots that I accumulated throughout this task. And shit, shit, oh fucking shit, it's becoming nightfall already. I'm starting to have the feeling I should stop, because I have the feeling that mobs will just come out and ruin the farm. What with creepers blowing it up, old men, spiders, skeletons, endermen and so forth knocking me back to make me trample their crops, you name it. I gotta make my way back home count. Sorry farmer, but I hope that you understand that I've been farming off of your farm for the sake of starting one of my own. Shit, it's fucking night. Now I'm gonna be doomed to be attacked and gang banged by some of the mobs. Whatever, they can fucking bring it with the USB 3.0 machine I have. Oh hey, Sam. Look at me, I have a horny nose in my pockets, and I'm going to use it to ask for your hand in marriage. Fa 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 no. Even if you paid me that ugly fucking shit, I still will not marry your ass. Fucking Gaylord. I want your calcium for dessert. Calcium, calcium, calcium. You piece of scrap metal shit. Fuck right off, you fucking skeleton. What the fuck do you think you are? A calcium vampire. And besides, jokes on you. I have no calcium. You fucking retarded shit brain. Now I'm almost home. I know I can make it back there before I encounter any more mobs. I know I can. And I know I must. And I know I can drive. Yes, 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 yes. Just about home. Just about. Bitch, we're here too. We already beat you to the punch, and we raided your house because we want eggs and an orgy with natural Sam being here. Yeah, and we want you guys fucking calcium. Don't fucking deny that you do either, because we know that you're still fucking you anyway. Fuck you and fuck your boomer of a friend. You just say all that shit for all the fucking shock value. Why don't you go listen to Alex Jones, if you like shocking people much? 
Oh wait, you can't. I fucked you up and I'm the one who gets to listen to him for the lulls. Welcome home, Sam. Good job handling those shit for brains, guys. Don't listen to them. They didn't raid our home. They're too stupid to raid for shit. I know, right? They like to spew bullshit out just to annoy us. They can't shock the goddamn Microsoft Sam or his half-brother in a million years. Also, I fucking skeleton. You deserve to be burned just for asking for fucking calcium. You know, that shit you would just say for fucking shock value or annoyance. Consider yourself duped by such shit. We are the real shockers. Har 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 That's telling them, Sam. Now anyways how much food do we have? Enough of it to finally make our own farm. But first I need to get some wood. More wood, more wood, more wood, more wood, more wood, more wood, more wood. No! The sunlight fucking burns. Get axed as my final blow to end all final blows. Now back to more wood. 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 More wood, more wood, more wood, more wood, more wood, more wood, more wood. More wood, more wood, more wood, more wood, more wood, more wood, more wood. More wood, more wood, more wood, more wood, more wood, more wood, more wood. Classic wood that you always gotta get, eh? I like what you gotta say about that. Yes, because wood is the most essential thing you gotta bring, especially if we were to mine in some caves. Wood should be brought everywhere we go, as a requirement for Sam Raffle Range and the Raffle World altogether. Lol, yes. Imagine requiring wood to be brought in any and all missions. Wouldn't that take up some space in your inventory though? Maybe, but that will be worth it regardless. But anyways enough doggling the fuck around, it's time to build ourselves a fucking farm. Now first things first. We just gotta mine away some of the stone and make way for the dirt for the seeds I'm gonna plant. Where are we gonna build it though? Right here. Just watch as I do this. Uh. Ah, so that's where we're going to build the farm. And why not? There's plenty of space for it here, and the more crops we grow here, the bigger the payoff will be at the end of the day, I see. So, let's get building on it. Yes, let's fucking do it. Alright, we did it. We built ourselves a wheat carrot potato beetroot farm. 
Now the last thing we need is some torches and then we shall have light and water keeping the crops alive. A total win-win for sure, yeah mate. After all the hard work that we mustered throughout this farm, it surely paid off. All in a day's work, as they say, yep. <laughs> and I also sorted each dirt lane by type of crop, so that way you can actually distinguish what's growing and from where. Those fucking villages, I swear, just mix shit up together whenever you go to them, I know right? Those fucking villages are all the same. Blind as to all the fucking crops and lot types are placed from where. Bitch please, not my cup of I wait tea. Oh god damn it. A fucking crop just died from sheer darkness right, as I was placing the torches. Here we go again, gotta place the goddamn wheat seeds in this spot again just to make sure it doesn't die again. Oof. There's no way that could be good. Lack of a source is bad news for a crop. Nobody likes those kinds of things, indeed. But now that I planted them, we'll just glance at it to make sure that this farm behaves the way it should. Because I'm not about to do some shit such as taking the ceiling down to make way for sunlight. I did this for a good reason, such as keeping mobs away from falling onto the crops. Why not just use glass? There could have been some glass that would allow for sunlight and preventing mobs from falling at the same time. That takes a little more of a while to do than getting the wood does, so we might as well keep it the way it is for now. If time permits, maybe we could replace the wood ceiling with glass. Oh, so I see. Well, now that we're done building the farm, what do we do now? We put some of the shit back, and then we call it an episode off right here. So guys, make sure to comment. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like, and subscribe for more content in the future, if you haven't done so. This is Microsoft Sam, signing off, along with Natural Microsoft Sam. Goodbye!